During a laparoscopic cholecystectomy, which instrument is most critical for clipping the cystic duct? A. Endoscopic linear stapler. B. Hemoclip applier. C. Maryland dissector. D. Endoscopic scissors. Answer, B. The hemoclip applier secures the cystic duct and artery before division. This prevents bile leakage and hemorrhage, making it one of the most critical tools in laparoscopic gallbladder removal. Which type of sterilization is most suitable for heat-sensitive endoscopes? A. Steam under pressure. B. Ethylene oxide gas. C. Flash sterilization. D. Dry heat sterilization. Answer, B. Ethylene oxide gas sterilization is ideal for heat and moisture-sensitive items like endoscopes. Steam sterilization would damage the delicate optics and materials of these instruments. In the sterile field, if a scrub technologist notices a minor tear in a surgeon's glove during a long case, what is the correct action? A. Ignorative contamination is unlikely. B. Ask circulator to place another pair over it. C. Initiate immediate reg loving using open glove technique. D. Wait until the next instrument count. Answer, C. A torn glove compromises barrier integrity. The surgical technologist must alert the surgeon and assist in reg loving immediately to prevent contamination of the sterile field. What is the primary role of the surgical technologist during an intraoperative code? A. Perform chest compressions. B. Secure sterile field and maintain instruments. C. Administer medications directly. D. Contact family members. Answer, B. The CST ensures the sterile field and instruments remain secure so that the surgical procedure can resume when possible. Other team members handle compressions and medications. Which incision is most commonly used for an open appendectomy? A. Fan and steel. B. McBurney's. C. Coachers. D. Chevron. Answer, B. The McBurney's incision is used for open appendectomy, providing direct access to the appendix in the right lower quadrant while minimizing muscle disruption. What solution is recommended for prepping the skin before an ophthalmic surgery? A. Povidone iodine diluted solution. B. Full-strength chlorhexidine. C. Alcohol-based prep. D. Saline only. Answer, A. Diluted povidone iodine is safe and effective for ophthalmic prepping. Full-strength antiseptics like chlorhexidine or alcohol can damage sensitive eye tissues. Which item must always be counted separately from sponges and surgical counts? A. Suture needles. B. Laparotomy pads. C. Ratex sponges. D. Cotinoids. Answer, D. Cotinoids, neurosurgical patties, are counted separately due to their small size and frequent use in neurosurgery. Separate counts reduce risk of retention. Which retractor is commonly used in spinal surgery for lamina exposure? A. White Lawner. B. Jelpy. C. Meyerding. D. Balfour. Answer, C. The Meyerding retractor provides excellent exposure in spinal procedures, particularly laminectomies, where precision and visibility are essential. A surgical technologist notices condensation droplets inside a wrapped sterile set after autoclaving. What should be done? A. Use the set immediately. B. Place in sterile storage. C. Consider the set contaminated and reprocess. D. Dry with sterile towels. Answer, C. Moisture compromises sterile packaging. The set must be considered contaminated and reprocessed to ensure sterility before use. During vascular surgery, which suture is most appropriate for an anastomosis? A. Zero chromic gut. B. 3 to 0 silk. C. 6 to 0 polypropylene. D. 2 to 0 nylon. Answer, C. 6 to 0 polypropylene is non absorbable, inert, and fine enough for vascular anastomosis, ensuring minimal tissue reactivity and strong long term patency. What is the first step a surgical technologist takes after donning a sterile gown? A. Secure sterile drapes. B. 
Don sterile gloves. C. Arrange back table instruments. D. Check the instrument count. Answer, B. Gowning is always followed by gloving before handling sterile instruments. This maintains a septic integrity of the surgical environment. Which of the following is an example of an intentional wound classification? A. Traumatic laceration. B. Surgical incision. C. Accidental puncture. D. Animal bite. Answer, B. Surgical incisions are classified as intentional wounds since they are created under controlled sterile conditions for operative purposes. Which medication is typically added to local anesthetics to prolong effect and reduce bleeding? A. Epinephrine. B. Heparin. C. Lidocaine. D. Atropine. Answer, A. Epinephrine is often added to local anesthetics to cause vasoconstriction, prolonging numbness and minimizing surgical site bleeding. What instrument is used to grasp lung tissue during thoracic surgery without crushing it? A. Alice clamp. B. Babcock clamp. C. Coker clamp. D. Oxner clamp. Answer, B. The Babcock clamp is atraumatic and designed to hold delicate tissue such as lung or bowel without causing injury. What is the correct position for a patient undergoing a posterior lumbar laminectomy? A. Supine. B. Lithotomy. C. Prone. D. Lateral decubitus. Answer, C. The prone position provides direct access to the posterior spine, making it standard for lumbar laminectomy procedures. Which of the following hemostatic agents must never be introduced into the bloodstream? A. Surgisol. B. Bone wax. C. Gel foam soaked in thrombin. D. Absorbable suture. Answer, B. Bone wax can cause embolism if it enters circulation and should only be applied to bleeding bone surfaces. During an orthopedic procedure, which implant material is most commonly used for joint prostheses? A. Titanium alloy. B. Stainless steel. C. Carbon fiber. D. Tantalum. Answer, A. Titanium alloys are biocompatible, lightweight, and strong, making them ideal for orthopedic implants like hip and knee prostheses. What is the purpose of using a tourniquet in extremity surgery? A. Prevents nerve conduction. B. Reduces blood loss and improves visualization. C. Increases anesthesia absorption. D. Provides mechanical stability. Answer, B. Tourniquets temporarily occlude blood flow, keeping the surgical field bloodless and enhancing visibility during extremity procedures. Which item is considered a counted item in the OR? A. Instrument sponges. B. Electrocautery tip. C. Hypodermic needle. D. Syringe barrel. Answer, C. Hypodermic needles are counted because they are sharps. This ensures none remain in the surgical field, reducing retained item risk. Which surgical specialty most often uses a bookwalter retractor? A. Neurosurgery. B. Orthopedics. C. General surgery. D. Ophthalmology. Answer, C. The Bookwalter Retractor is a self-retaining retractor system commonly used in open abdominal general surgery procedures for exposure. A CST is scrubbed in and observes the surgeon accidentally contaminating their gown sleeve. What is the proper action? A. Ignore it if contact was brief. B. Notify the circulator and assist in regioning. C. Cover with a sterile drape. D. Wait until the procedure is complete. Answer, B. The surgical technologist must maintain vigilance. Any contamination must be corrected immediately by regioning or regloving to maintain sterility. Which incision provides the best exposure for a cesarean section? A. Coker. B. Pfannensteel. C. McBurney. D. Subcostal. Answer, B. The Pfannensteel incision is low transverse, cosmetically favorable, and provides adequate access to the uterus for cesarean delivery. What is the recommended way to pass a scalpel to the surgeon? 
A. Directly into their palm, blade first. B. Hand to hand, holding the blade. C. Pass in a neutral zone or handle first. D. Toss onto the sterile field. Answer, C. Passing sharps in a neutral zone or handle first prevents accidental injury. Safety in passing is crucial for sharps management. Which organ is most at risk during a left nephrectomy? A. Liver. B. Pancreas. C. Spleen. D. Appendix. Answer, C. The spleen lies near the left kidney and can be injured during nephrectomy, requiring careful dissection to avoid rupture. Which surgical procedure requires the use of an ophthalmic viscoelastic device, OVD? A. Cataract extraction. B. Tonsillectomy. C. Cholecystectomy. D. Appendectomy. Answer, A. OVDs maintain anterior chamber space during cataract surgery, protecting corneal endothelium and allowing safe intraocular lens placement. When positioning a patient for a thyroidectomy, which precaution is essential? A. Arms tightly strapped to sides. B. Neck extended with shoulder roll. C. Head turned sharply to one side. D. Patient in Trendelenburg position. Answer, B. The neck must be extended to optimize surgical exposure. A shoulder roll is used for support, but extreme positioning is avoided to prevent nerve injury. Which is the correct order for donning sterile attire? A. Gown, mask, gloves, cap. B. Cap, mask, gown, gloves. C. Gloves, gown, mask, cap. D. Mask, gown, gloves, cap. Answer, B. The correct order is cap first, mask second, gown third, and gloves last. This sequence ensures sterility and proper protective coverage. In orthopedic surgery, polymethylmethacrylate, PMMA, is used for A. Bone graft substitute B. Joint prosthesis fixation C. Hemostasis D. Antibiotic delivery only Answer, B. PMMA bone cement anchors prosthetic implants securely to bone, enhancing stability in joint replacement surgeries. During a craniotomy, which device maintains skull flap stability after replacement? A. Kirshner wires. B. Titanium plates and screws. C. Bone wax. D. Cotinoids. Answer, B. Titanium plates and screws secure the bone flap after a craniotomy, ensuring structural integrity and protection of brain tissue. Which surgical specialty most often uses yasergel clips? A. Orthopedics. B. Vascular. C. Neurosurgery. D. Ophthalmology. Answer, C. Yasergel clips are aneurysm clips used in neurosurgery to occlude aneurysms while preserving blood flow in parent vessels. Which wound classification applies to a colectomy with no spillage? A. Clean. B. Clean contaminated. C. Contaminated. D. Dirty. Answer, B. Gastrointestinal surgeries without gross spillage are classified as clean contaminated due to entry into a tract that contains flora. Which type of suture needle is best for delicate intestinal tissue? A. Taper point. B. Cutting. C. Reverse cutting. D. Blunt. Answer, A. Taper point needles spread rather than cut tissue minimizing trauma in delicate structures like intestine. Which drape is used for ophthalmic surgery? A. Fenestrated head drape. B. Universal laparotomy drape. C. Extremity drape. D. Split drape. Answer, A. Fenestrated ophthalmic drapes provide access to the eye while isolating lashes, brows, and surrounding areas to maintain a sterile field. A CST is preparing for a carotid endarterectomy. Which monitoring device is crucial? A. Capnograph. B. E.G. C. Arterial line. D. Pulse oximeter. Answer, B. E.G. monitoring assesses cerebral perfusion during carotid artery clamping, 
detecting changes in brain activity that may indicate ischemia. What is the purpose of a Penrose drain? A. Active suction drainage. B. Passive fluid drainage. C. Vascular access. D. Wound irrigation. Answer, B. Penrose drains provide passive drainage of fluid away from the wound using gravity, reducing infection risk. In which procedure is a Javid shunt typically used? A. Appendectomy. B. Carotid endarterectomy. C. Cholecystectomy. D. Thyroidectomy. Answer, B. The Javid shunt maintains blood flow to the brain during carotid artery surgery, preventing cerebral ischemia. Which complication can arise from improper patient positioning during long surgeries? A. Surgical site infection. B. Pressure ulcers and nerve injury. C. Increased anesthesia effect. D. Delayed wound healing. Answer, B. Prolonged improper positioning can compress nerves or tissues, leading to neuropathy and pressure sores, which CSTs help prevent. Which laser is commonly used in ophthalmology? A. CO2 laser. B. NDYAG laser. C. Argon laser. D. Holmium laser. Answer, B. NDYAG lasers are widely used in ophthalmic surgeries, particularly for posterior capsulotomy after cataract surgery. What is the best action if a CST suspects an incorrect count at case closure? A. Assume all items are accounted for. B. Document the suspicion only. C. Notify surgeon and circulator immediately. D. Continue closing the wound. Answer, C. Any count discrepancy must be resolved before closure. The CST must alert the team immediately and assist in locating missing items. Which is the safest method for removing hair at the surgical site preoperatively? A. Straight razor. B. Electric clippers. C. Scissors. D. Chemical depilatory. Answer, B. Electric clippers minimize skin abrasions and lower infection risk, unlike razors which increase risk of microabrasions and surgical site infections.